Today we're going to find out, is it possible to make a good cup of coffee using this electric Turkish coffee maker, but this is pot, because it is dumb pot, this is not maker, it will not stop automatically. Let's start from the size, it is 330 milliliters, and this is 200 milliliter Jasper, and here is 900 milliliter kettle. Unlike kettle, it will not stop when it's boiling. Let's start from the fact that this pot is too big for one person if you use it with the maximum amount of water, which is 330 milliliters. Let's check the wideness. This is 200 milliliters, so I can brew 14 grams of coffee here. And probably the surface will be too wide to control the color of the foam, which is very important for the taste. When I've tried to boil it with just water, because you need to boil it with water for cleaning for the first time, it took four minutes, under four minutes. Reasonable time, but for lower doses it should be too fast. I don't sure I will be able to control. It has two spouts, which is nice, not all Jasvis has it. I'm gonna test it with light roast coffee, Uganda Silverback, nice watched coffee. Grinder as usual Kino because it's fast. The grind size is great. Start from 30 grams. Nice thing that you can use it like this. So it's 460 grams. You can just pour the coffee and the fact that it is white is a plus here because it's easier to pour, to mix about the construction. It is plastic. Only the bottom is stainless steel. So it's like a kettle, basically. Like basic plastic kettle. By the way, as for the brand, it doesn't matter. So you can get any brand, but it is 550 watts. Unfortunately, there is no control. I would like to have some adjustment of the power. In other brewers, I can control power output. Here, I cannot. And it started pretty rapidly. 36 seconds, it's already moving. And I will mix at one minute to make sure there is no crust. Yeah, well, the coffee is not silent. It started to create some noise, but it's still not super loud. Like a kettle. The process is not that nice like in normal coffee pot. You will enjoy this one way better. The heating element is very aggressive, as you can see starts to wobble so it starts to rub a little bit and it's not easy to control usually because it starts to wobble too much and lifts without rubbing like i used to so it's instant instant rubbing even with these doughs i expected a little bit slower race and you have sediment some of it this is how it looks after rinsing rinsing with water relatively nice and finish with the towel it's hard <laughs> for my hands they're relatively narrow but not that narrow so it is like hard to clean the plate so <laughs> this one wins in terms of Cleaning. So the first attempt was like, eh, not so great, because you see that there is no such control as with regular pot. It starts to boil too quickly. So I'm gonna use 14 grams of coffee, so it will be like this, brewing, this brewer size, but in this one. Like 100 grams of water. It's a few centimeters, 155 grams of water, so a little bit more than I wanted, but it will still give us general understanding. You heard this crack of a plastic. <laughs> well, you see, it's boiling. Uh, yeah, I will, I will take it off. Like it's, it started to boil. 
I needed to take it off a little bit earlier. So it's time to sip some of these hopefully good enough coffee. It is nice. Relatively balanced. I tried to take it off right when it started to rub aggressively more or less because it started like slowly it wobbles hard to control you should use this one to get used to the adjustment possibly at least in my experience it's better to have some strong understanding what's going on in a cup with the different uh, kinds of form at the top fruity so it's relatively balanced uh, i will take it off a little bit earlier next time and as for this dose 14 grams 155 grams of water a little bit not not like 1 to 10 ratio a little bit higher but still these cups are great for maximum dose i recommend it for lower doses it's kind of tricky and now you at least know how to use it that it takes like two minutes and you need to lift it very rapidly right when it started to move the coffee is great so there is no downside except the cleaning the size <laughs> it's, it's enormous and the ability to control it precisely because i want to have like few switches of power at least or even some dial or like set and forget but lower amount of power because 550 watts it's like half of a kettle somewhat but it's doable and if you want fast cup of coffee for a company though it's for two persons great because this size is like for one person overkill two three persons easily nice texture nice body nothing to hate here it's like great pot but it's not maker because it will not stop automatically and by the way you can watch my turkish coffee tutorial on my channel and it will be easier to understand how to use this pot. But if you watch this video, it's relatively beginner-friendly. You see that it starts to move, you take it off and it will be great.